close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. Because the mind needs a good place to stay. It needs to be grounded. And the breath is a good place for that. It's with you all the time. As long as you're alive, there's going to be breath coming in and going out. Even if it's very still, very quiet, it's there. And staying with the breath, you're in your own space. You're inhabiting your body. You're not running out after other things. And you're here in the present moment. Why do you want to be here? Because this is where you can learn to observe your own mind. to see behind the scenes. It's like going to a play. If you just sit out in the audience and watch the play, you can get carried away by the illusion. You think there really are people up there fighting and doing whatever else they're doing on the, on the stage. But if you go back behind the stage, you begin to see how you can see the actors waiting to go on and how they get in and out of character. You see all the, the lighting and all the other things that have to be done in order to keep the illusion up. This way you don't get fooled by the play. You see, oh, these are just people playing playing roles and then they're going to go home as if nothing had happened. In the same way, if you want to just want to stand your mind, especially the way the mind tends to fool itself, you have to be here in the present moment to get behind the scenes. The only difference here is that things really do happen and they really do make a difference. But a lot of it is made up to begin with and then it turns into something real. So you have to look at the process by which these mind states are being created, put together. Because if they lead you to do something skillful, that's fine. But if they lead you to do something unskillful, that you're going to regret afterwards. So that's something you've got to nip in the bud. Don't let the mind state take over. That's why you want to be here with the breath. So when something comes up in the mind, either a thought or an emotion, you can step back from it. Say, okay, where did this come from? Where is it going? Do I really want to go there? And when you can see through all the machinations by which the mind creates these little worlds inside, then you're a lot less likely to fall for them. Because many times they, they don't want you to think about where they're going to take you, they just want you to go. And so they dress themselves up in a way that looks really alluring. Right? So you just follow them, follow them, follow them, and then you end up finding out they're going to take you out to the edge of the city and throw you out the, throw you out the door. Otherwise, you can't trust everything that comes up in the mind, even though it seems to be your mind. A lot of influences coming in from other people, from many times from years past. Decisions you made back in the past when you weren't quite as adult as you are now. They can come bubbling up into the mind and all of a sudden you're back in that state again. But if you have a place to step back and step out, that's what the breath provides you with. Then you can see these things for what they are. And they lose their allure, they lose their pull, and you're more in charge. When the time comes to think about something that's really worthwhile, you can think. But when you see that your thinking is not worthwhile at all, you can just drop it. You want your mind to be in that position. That's the position where you really are free. Otherwise, you may be free to follow your desires, but who knows where your desires are, where they're going to take you. But if you're above them and you can decide which ones are worth following, which ones are not, then you're in control. And the breath gives you a good place for that because it's, you can make it comfortable by the way you focus on it and the way you adjust your breathing. And you can get this so that this is your default position. This is where the mind goes back to when it's not thinking about other things. It just comes back to the breath in the present moment, ready to look at whatever else is going to come up. And gaining some strength, gaining some refreshment in the meantime. So this is a good skill to have for managing your life, managing your mind. so that you're in control of where your life is going to go.